On this episode of Eat, Sleep, Drive, it's time to free up some space in my garage. And that's because it's finally time to drop this LS in this 240. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Eat Sleep Drive. I'm super super pumped today and that's because it's finally time to get this engine in the car. Uh, there's been a lot of prep work that's gone on behind the scenes. Sorry guys, I haven't filmed everything just because it's been a, more work I guess than I anticipated. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of swap guides and stuff like that and there's a lot of things that they leave out in those and when I'm finally done with this swap, I'm going to make a video and, and talk about all the stuff that they don't really tell you um, when it comes time to swap something like an LS into a 240. Um, so, you know, this thing has a new alternator, um, new starter, uh, new clutch, new flywheel. Like, I mean, there's just been a lot of work that has gone on uh, to this engine before I drop it in. But that is the hope, or the hope is that it's going to be good to go once it's in there. So. Um, you know, there's not a lot to do other than mate the transmission to the engine and then drop it in the car. I'm waiting for my buddy Adam to show up to help me do that because I am not strong enough to hold that trans and bolt it to the engine at the same time. And then I'm also going to need his help when it comes time to, um, you know, move this engine hoist around and drop this thing in here. But come along for the ride, guys. Let's see what this V8 looks like in my 240. Adam is here. Everyone say hi, Adam. Uh, he's here to help me put this crap together. So um, we're going to try and mate this transmission to the engine and then put it in the car. Um, easier said than done. But we'll see how this goes. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Engine and transmission made it together, all good. Um, we should be good to drop this in, so what we have to do is pull this car out a little bit so we can get the hoist in that direction, and then we'll jack up the car, and then throw, literally throw the engine in. I think that's, what, that's the best way to do it. Just throw it in. Ceramic coated dog. Beauty. Sicky. <laughs> All right, dude, let's put this header in. So the header has to go in on the driver's side when you're partially um, got the engine in. Go ahead, see if you could slide her in there. Because if you could see, it actually, yeah, it's a tight fit. It actually, um, the steering column actually runs through the header. You can see a steering column over there. So this is going to be twice. I had to cut away for a second. I didn't want to show you guys how badly I was scratching up this header to get it in place. Um, but it's pretty much in place now. You can see that the steering column is running through the header. And that's pretty much what we want to achieve. So um, now we're going to try and lower this little by little and level it out. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey man, I saw the Red Z there. Engine going in? Finally. Check it out. These motor mounts are in. It took a lot of back and forth. Um, Kicking the trans around, going up, going down, left, right. Took us a while, but totally worth it. It looks pretty sweet. What do you think, Adam? I think green is this car's color now. <laughs> got green coilovers, got green header, or not headers, the engine mounts and... And sway bar, yeah, that's true, dude. So I should get green wheels, is I guess what you're saying? 
green TE 37s with rounded out. Damn. All right, sweet. So engine is in so much more work to do, but super satisfying. Um, now we're going to connect these headers. Um, then we're going to connect the trans mount because it's being held up by a jack right now. And uh, then the steering shaft and then we'll probably call it. Just trying to put the steering coupler back on where it was when I took the car off, which is kind of a tall task. Can you see, is the steering wheel straight? Uh, straight as I can tell from the outside. Okay. That's good enough for me. Come on, baby. Finger yoga. Oh, there we go. Thing of beauty. Xiong. I think so. Just need to put some bolts in. Until it comes disconnected, we can do some and I just sick drifts. Steer into the wall. Alright, so we're gonna do the passenger side header and we're gonna try, we're gonna try and not scratch this one up nearly as bad no. as the drivers. I make no promises. May God have mercy on your soul. Yep. Already scratched it. Good. First was always the hardest. Dude, how in the is this supposed to fit up here? That's what I was saying. I, I feel like it does. How in the You got it? Yeah. Alright, I'm not trying to rotate it. Uh, hold on, hold on. What are we watching the same video? Like, oh. Yeah. That's a stupid cable. Go baby, go. Go baby, go. Ah. Uh, there we go. Holy shit! Did that <laughs> did just not happen? Did not expect that. Did that just happen? Guys. What's wrong now? <coughs> the light keeps on rotating in my face. Oh. Alright. Sounds like a personal problem. Scissor jack. All right, now I'm definitely jacking it up. You're jacking? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, you are jacking. Good work. Good work, Jack. Dude, the scissor jack in my ZX is like frozen solid. I cannot turn this, but this one I can turn by my hand. No, that. You know what that one's actually from? My first 240. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I SR swapped. So it's kind of come full circle, to be honest with you. Yeah. All right, let's get this trans mount in. I have no idea how this is supposed to work, to be honest with you. You're supposed to take the bolt and find the hole. Easier said than done, brother. Easier said than done. Did you read the instructions? I, I never read these. Oh, that's a spider. Oh, no, that's a mosquito. Mosquito. Ow! Oh, 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 heat shield. Uh, Should cut your arm? Maybe. There's a potential for that. Alright, I get the feeling that this needs to go a hell of a lot higher. Not good. And Jack doesn't like slam your nuts. Don't slam my nuts, please. <laughs> it's so tight. I really should have had that sway bar off, but I didn't feel like taking it off to him. Mm -hmm. Boom! Trans is mounted in. How does it look up front there, dude? Does it look proper? Man. Let's let's show the people. Let's take oh. the let's take the camera. If I could get there was a the the uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, see, it was like tilted so weird before. Was it? Yeah. Because the trans was down so far. Ow. It's an absolute thing of beauty. God, looks so good. The headers and everything. It's okay. Oh. 
Boom, engine in the car. Um, huge, huge thanks to Adam and my random neighbor who showed up. Um, I hope I got that part on video. I know the camera stopped at one point, but random neighbor showed up, he's like, I drove by, I saw an engine like vertical in your, uh, in your garage, so I had to stop by, so that was cool. Um, just shows cars, man, brings people together. Um, so yeah, engine's in, headers are on, trans uh, mount is also on, and that's pretty much it for tonight. I'm gonna call that a success. We kinda got this car halfway out the garage, and it needs to come in for the night. So, but uh, we're basically in a place to do that. We can move this thing around now. So from here on out, um, it's just gonna be connecting things and all, and there's so much work that has to be done, but um, huge, huge, huge milestone to have this engine in the car. Appreciate you guys watching as always, and uh, we'll see you next time.